The city of Charleston is working to fix a drainage problem in parts of West Ashley. Now, leaders tell News 2's Jordan Sayopa that the project will focus on sidewalks that flood along Savannah Highway. A portion of the sidewalk along Savannah Highway will be blocked off for the next month while crews work on a drainage improvement project. This is to help get rid of an excess of water that comes on rainy days just like today. It's not unusual for a portion of the Savannah Highway sidewalk to look like this. This one's tricky because it's not just hurricane events. It's basically any time it rains, that water is going to pond and get stuck. And then when we get a more severe rain, it will actually, the flooding will lift up all the oak leaves that have fallen in the yards and pull those down and further clog up the drains. A project designed to fix the issue begins Tuesday. For the next month, the sidewalk between Campbell Drive and Nicholson Street will be closed while crews install under drain pipes, which will connect to the existing drainage system. Eroded sections will also be stabilized. That should help. Um, the, like the locations that hold the most water drain out faster. Stormwater Management Director Matthew Fountain says the ponding is partly due to the sidewalk being lower than Savannah Highway. This project is paid for by funding set aside for small drainage projects throughout Charleston. These small projects that we build, these like street scale projects, they're generally under $100,000. Like they're a way to do relatively short term improvements to quality of life issues for residents. Part of that means bringing pedestrian access back to the area. This is a very popular sidewalk because we have the kind of the triangle area of Avondale, which is a nice commercial district that people from all the residential homes would like to be able to walk through the sidewalk to get to those restaurants and bars. There is a pedestrian detour while this project is going on. We'll have more details on our website, countonto.com. Reporting in West Ashley, Jordan Sayopa, Count on Two.